Hi. My name's Emily. Hi, Emily. Um, my husband and I are recently um, out of the hyper charismatic movement through the American gospel, um, convicting oh, both of us. Oh, that video. Huh? The American gospel vi video, you mean? Yeah, yeah. The, the documentary. Yeah, the documentary. Um, and that brought us here. So wow. thank you. Um, um, our, our kids are out of... <laughs> It's all God, God's sovereign plan. Um, our kids are out of public school. My marriage has been saved, and I realized I'm a wretched sinner saved just by the grace of our holy God. So thank you for being in that documentary. Um, my husband's a fireman, so he texted me to be brave, which I'm trying, <laughs> um, to ask you a question. Um, ask him, how do we navigate this verse, Mark? 9 30 through 40 in a world of false prophets heretical preachers fake miracles etc i i can read it if you need me to. no that's okay i, I i'm look. shaking so i'd rather not <laughs> no you're 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 so sweet and gracious you just don't look like a raving charismatic to me <laughs> uh, no look People can easily be seduced because their intentions are right. I mean, you want the right thing. You, you want to know the Lord. You want to follow the Lord. You want His power in your life. You want His protection in your family. And so th this is what we were saying earlier. Uh, there's seduction in those kinds of false forms of Christianity. They lure you with false promises. The false promises being promises of special power, special experiences, uh, authority over demons, uh, speaking in tongues, which becomes some kind of intimate prayer language with God that gives you access to the throne that people who don't do that don't have. And all of that is deceptive. And, you know, until there's only one antidote for lies, okay? Only one, and that is the truth. And the wonderful thing about it, Emily, is this. I don't know how long you've been coming here. Uh, since January. Since January. But I, I, I will tell you, and I'm sure this is your experience, I'll go out on a limb. When you began to hear the truth, you knew it was the truth. Yes. Right. And you know why? Because you're the Lord's child. And you were off in deception, but when you heard the truth, you knew it was the truth. A lot of people in deception aren't children of the Lord. They aren't genuinely saved. But it's been, it's been my experience through many years of dealing with the charismatic movement, going way back. I don't know. I've written half a dozen books on that movement. That the true believers, when they hear the truth, know they're hearing the truth. I, I don't think a week of my life goes by that I don't meet somebody who has read uh, Strange Fire, heard the Strange Fire messages, read Charismatic Chaos or the Charismatics or, or something like that. And when they hear the truth, they know they're hearing the truth. And that's because the Spirit of God reacts to that truth and presses that truth home to your heart. So there's no particular strategy to escape that. The only way out is to hear the truth. And that's why we've been addressing people in that movement with the truth so that the truth can do its work as it has in your life and your husband's. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs>